now with a potential break in the case of two young Indiana girls found dead in 2017. Investigators have been searching a river near the home of a man whose name has come up in connection with this case. Alex Perez has the latest on this. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, Cecilia. It's been five years of heartache and pain for Delphi and those who knew Abby and Libby, but they're holding on to hope this new development could possibly finally bring some answers. This morning, all eyes on what could be a possible new development in the unsolved murders of two Delphi, Indiana teens. Authorities seen combing this riverbed. What we're hearing from sources indicates that this is connected. The hosts of the true crime podcast, The Murder Sheet, taking these photographs of investigators scouring the Wabash River about 40 miles from where 13-year-old Abby Williams and 14-year-old Libby German were found dead five years ago. Despite thousands of tips since their murder in 2017, their killer still at large. Libby capturing this grainy Snapchat, authorities believe shows their killer, along with this chilling recording thought to be his voice. Indiana State Police would only confirm they have a dive team in the area, but the podcasters say it's located just a few miles from the family home of this man, 28-year-old Keegan Klein, who was arrested two years ago and charged with child pornography and child exploitation in a separate case to which he's pleaded not guilty. According to authorities, Klein admitted to using a phony social media account with the handle Anthony underscore shots to communicate with minors. He created a completely false persona for himself. And we know that the Anthony Schatz account was actually in communication with Liberty German, who was one of the victims in this case. Klein has denied any involvement in the murders. Just days before the podcast hosts say that river search began, a court document obtained by ABC News shows that Klein was temporarily moved from the custody of his local authorities to the hands of Indiana State Police, the lead investigators in the murders of Abby and Libby. The podcast hosts say it's unclear what officers were looking for in that river. A lot of technology comes up in this case of devices that are being used to store child sexual abuse materials or communications with underage girls. Uh, and then, of course, weaponry that could have been used in the Delphi murders and any other evidence that could tie a killer to the scene or uh, of the crime, essentially. And again, investigators would not say what exactly they were looking for in that riverbed, nor how it might be connected, possibly, to the Delphi case. Guys? All right, Alex, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.